Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would film a video basically reviewing my experience of second year at university. For the first part of the video I am going to keep it quite broad so if you aren't doing a psychology degree like I am this can still be applicable and still be might quite interesting to you. So I'm going to be comparing second year to first year in terms of workload and things like that. I'm going to be discussing things like friendships, living arrangements and my general mindset and attitude in comparison to first year and then later on in the video I am going to talk a bit more specifically about my course and the course in comparison to first year and things like course content. So if you do like things like uni videos then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I make a whole range of videos from stuff like uni, vlogs, beauty, fashion and a bit of cooking. And without further ado I'm gonna get started. So for those of you that don't know I am studying my degree in Scotland where it is a four-year degree. So in England and most places in your second year this would start to get a lot more difficult and begin to count towards your final degree classification but the way it works in Scotland is first and second year don't count at all and then third and fourth year do so that's a bit of background so I'm going to discuss kind of the comparison to first year in terms of workload and things like that so for me, I honestly didn't notice a huge jump in workload. We did get warned by lecturers and things that in second year it would become a lot more difficult and it would become a lot more work, but I honestly didn't notice that. And I'm not sure if that is because I'm already quite a workaholic and I did work really hard in first year and continued to in second year. So I was kind of ready for the workload to increase. But even speaking to most of my friends, we all kind of agree that second year has been very, very similar to how first year was for workload. I would say that some things I have noticed is the way we are assessed has changed kind of minorly. In first year we used to do lots and lots of group work because they wanted to see that we could work in a group and in second year that's kind of been honed in a bit. In terms of my marks as well I haven't noticed a huge change between first and second year because we were also told that in second year what you need to do well changes and you're kind of expected to put in more effort and that be reflected in the way that you're marked. Now obviously I may have naturally improved but I haven't notably tried to make my work way better than it was in first year and my marks have not suffered they've remained pretty much exactly the same if not some of them actually better than they were in first year so in terms of whether or not the actual content was more complex and harder to understand I would say that I did notice that some of the things we were learning about was a bit more in depth than it would be in first year I found that first year was a massive overview of psychology and then during second year we did start to learn things in more detail so it was kind of more complex to understand I think that would be kind of the same with any degree you're doing as you progress further and further and further it's going to be more complicated because you begin to kind of specialize so in terms of living arrangements I know that most people here would probably go on to talk about what it was like to do private renting and moving into a flat that way but for me I actually stayed in student accommodation this was for a whole variety of reasons I did move from uni based student accommodation to private student accommodation and I actually ended up being in a flat with loads of different people who I didn't know we were all from different universities different age groups and it was really nice we all got on and it was just generally a nice flat I had a bit of a nightmare flat in first year so it was nice to be in a flat where all of us just got on and it was nice and peaceful. I definitely would have got a private flat but I had a lot of drama with trying to get one. If any of you are students in Edinburgh you'll know how hard it is. It just became such an issue that I was like look I don't mind going back into student accommodation it means that I don't have to worry about things like bills. So now I'm gonna move on to things like my mindset. Now, in first year, I was very stressed all the time. I was just constantly worrying because I felt that every new version of assessment that was being thrown at me, I had no idea how to do it because in high school, you're very much kind of spoon fed how to do everything. And in university, that definitely gets taken away. So first year was like a massive learning curve of basically just learning the ways that you're being assessed. 
However, in second year, I found that I was actually way calmer because I understood what university standards were, what was being expected of me, how we were assessed. I understood the ins and outs of that a lot more. So in general, I was a lot calmer than I was in first year. As well as this, because in Scotland, in second year, it doesn't actually count. I was like, this is my last year to just properly try and enjoy it and have some fun before moving into third year. And I definitely did this. Actually for all of first year, I was still 17, so I couldn't really go out and join in with drinking and a lot of activities that other people would do. I did feel kind of left out. It didn't bother me to the extent where I didn't want to go to uni. I always knew I wanted to go to uni early, but it did mean I missed out on some things. So in second year, I was able to go out to the pub and drinking and things. And this was really great way to kind of de-stress from work I was doing. In first year, I was very much just work, work, work. And then in second year, I managed to have some time where I could just take some me time and that was really really nice. Another major aspect for me with second year was friendships. I think in first year I was very kind of fixated on wanting to make loads of friends, having a big group of friends and new people because I think when you hear people go into uni you expect that they're going to meet loads of new people and get a massive friend group and it just doesn't always happen this way. In first year I was kind of forcing a lot of friendships because I thought that I wanted to have loads of friends and in second year I just kind of realised that as long as I have a few really good friends that's all that matters. So if you are someone that has been in that same position trying to force friendships, please don't. Just remember that the friends you do have are really good friends. And if you are struggling to make friends, it will happen naturally and that's definitely the best way. Another point that I wanted to cover is that I actually felt a lot more comfortable with the city that I was at uni in. I think for a lot of people, first going to uni in a big city and coming from a small place like I did, it can be a bit daunting. For me, it wasn't daunting in the aspect of being scared about being in a city. It was daunting because I just did not know my way around. And it was really nice to go back to second year, know my way around Edinburgh properly. And I actually do feel pretty at home there now. So that was a really nice thing that I noticed in second year. So I'm now going to move on to talking specifically about changes in my course during second year. So I've already briefly mentioned this, but it's kind of in terms of all courses. That first year you start very broad, second year you go a bit narrower and narrower and narrower and you begin to specialise. And for psychology, this is something that I really, really noticed. First year was definitely, like I've mentioned, just an overview of all the different subject topics. And in second year, we began to get more specialised optional modules. So I was able to take things like educational psychology and child development whereas in first year it would be just areas like social psychology and that is a huge topic whereas educational psychology is a lot more specialised so you can begin to really tailor your degree to your interests there were a lot more options available to me in second year and that is something that I've really enjoyed I would say if you're just ending first year and you're not really sure if the course is for you there's lots of parts that you don't find interesting I would just hang on in there because during second year I actually enjoyed the content a lot more because I was getting to to choose a lot more the actual subjects that I was interested in and that was a really really nice part. Another thing that I noticed in terms of psychology is that I became a lot more comfortable with research methods. In first year research methods scared me, I've just found them so terrifying and complicated which is actually quite funny because me and one of my friends actually ended up doing the best in our year in research methods but it really didn't feel like that. I found it so crazy complicated but in second year I began to feel way 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 more comfortable in regards to working SPSS and there are still things to do with research methods that really fry my brain and I hate. However, I know that going into third and fourth year, I'll become a lot more comfortable with them. Another aspect that I noticed at my university, again could be different depending on where you go, is that as we got into second year we were able to start doing more lab work. In first year we didn't really do any lab work but in second year we had the opportunity to do things like that were measuring things like brain activity and heart rate which I found really really interesting. So if you've been in first year and you haven't really had the opportunity to go to do stuff like that, you will at some point and it will be really interesting when you do get to do that. So as far 
as I can think of, that is everything that I want to cover in terms of my review of second year. I have loved second year. I've just been a lot more calmer and a lot more myself this year, enjoying what I'm learning about and knowing that I have a solid group of friends. However, I am really annoyed that it's been cut so short because of everything that has gone on. I've obviously had to come home early, but nonetheless, it had been a really, really good year. And if you're someone that maybe has done second year or you're in first year and you're wondering about second year, I hope that this video has been really, really helpful for you. And if you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.